Clients often move through several stages before they are ready to set therapeutic directions and envision change. It's important for the counselor to meet the client where they are at in this process. This technique involves reinforcing client motivation, initiative, and supports for change, as well as attending to between session change in order to foster expectancy for change and foreground client agency. Hi, Sandra, welcome back. Thanks. So Sandra, last time we talked about, we, we continued the conversation about bringing your whole self. We talked about friendships and we talked about the advocacy work and we, we landed on curiosity and that resonated with you in terms of being curious and knowing I have agency, right? To question and to reflect. So between then and today, um, oh, maybe we can, you can give me some updates, Sandra. Any any more thoughts around barriers and um, agency? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think I'll talk about something that happened in the middle of the night last night. <laughs> yeah. um, because it was an interesting example of, um, I think we've talked before about sort of the broader systemic um, changes in the world. And and it's interesting because um, I have to back up, but a couple of days ago, friends down the street, um, eight, eight white young men um, came to their house in the evening and stole their trans flag. Oh. And, um, and one of them chased them down the street and, and three other people on the street joined um, her and and the guys dropped the flag and um, carried on. And it was interesting because, um, you know, we've talked, Glo and I have talked about the, um, the changes in Victoria. And mm -hmm. you know, there's, there was some really strong anti-trans stuff last year in, in town around some of the pride events and we're headed into pride month. And so, um, so I think that's another place where I'm kind of doing that, that whole self piece, wanting to bring my whole self into the world. Um, and yet we are thinking about how do you do that in a way that is both the advocate and the whole self and um, recognizing that things are changing and the risks are higher. And so how it connects to last night is last night, someone rang our doorbell at 3.30 in the morning and woke us up and then ran away. Um, and we had just put our pride flags out this weekend. So then is it related? Is it not related? I don't know. The house was also egged a couple of weeks ago. So then you kind of think, so yeah, where, where are all these things coming from? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know I said a lot of that, but. <laughs> well, that's okay. Cause I'm, 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 as I'm hearing you, Sandra, going, returning to that idea of curiosity right you're wondering yeah what what, what it, was that about what was last night about and have we just put a pride flag up right so so now and I heard a few things as well you said you know how can I continue to to lead with my values of being an advocate and also and mindful of the risks the you know the dangers out there in the world right mm -hmm. And not and not misinterpret things, you know, like that. I think the, I think that that's where the curiosity. I think it's a good reminder in this even because I don't know what was going on in the mind of those guys who stole the trans flag. Like maybe they didn't even. Maybe they were just like goofing around and trying to be, you know, young men and whatever, mm -hmm. um, and not really recognizing the impact of that um yeah and we always make the choice to be out and to be visible and to be part of the pride presence in the neighborhood and there's lots of pride presence in this neighborhood yeah so so now I'm thinking Sandra you know in terms of what would be helpful and what would not be helpful for example would it be helpful to follow you know the media the news if, if there are more of these being reported right for example like it could be hate towards the lgbtq2 plus population or would it be not helpful would it or do we need to moderate 
the use right of media and what are your thoughts um well glo and i were talking about that on the weekend too because you know we do follow the news and we follow what's happening internationally with you know, now the horrible stuff that's happening in Uganda around the queer community. Um, and so we we do kind of want to be aware of what's happening in the world, partly because it's a reminder of our privilege and our responsibility um, to do whatever we can to make a difference. Um, uh, and also, you don't want to start getting kind of living in a fearful place um because then that does impact me bringing my whole self forward which is kind of what we're talking about right so mm -hmm. yes yeah, so maybe it is about finding a balance of those things um and mm -hmm. yeah. well, well even so sandra the story the moment you shared about was it last week or a few days ago where eight white young men took the flag and some people chase them down right it's the both and both this happened and there are people they they are allies and co-conspirators and the helping right yeah that's great that you picked that up Gina because that's exactly when our friends texted us about it because they wanted to just alert us that it had happened they said they named those three people that joined them as allies and so they 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 really experienced that um, that you know they went running out of the house and the one of them and went running out of the house and and um, yeah that they really did feel like they were allies and I do feel like that absolutely in this community that I'm in that um, there are there are lots of allies probably more allies than not um, you know in terms of at least the people that we have connections with and that we know in this neighborhood so mm -hmm. yeah. well now that you just said that sandra i'm curious about what your thoughts are around yes there is a need to be cautious there's a need to be consuming media in a balanced way and reminding ourselves with yourself that there are allies out there you said there are more allies than not right to continue to tread the both ends and and then move forward in, in that way because what well, as we know living in fear isn't isn't fun it's not helpful right yeah and it's not my natural inclination and so and so I kind of almost have to do the opposite to myself ask myself is this a time when I should be being more cautious than I normally would be you know um but yes i agree the the reminding ourselves of our sense of community and our wanting to contribute to community and um yeah i mean i i i do think this is a time when um when lgp lgbtq plus um rights are under are at risk um, we certainly are seeing that in the United States, but we're also seeing it with book bans and stuff, um, you know, all kinds of stuff that's happening in Ontario and across the country, like there's lots of things. So um, all the more reason to bring my full self out in terms of coming from a position of privilege where I can do that and use my voice. Um, yeah, and this, uh, you're reminding me of agency again, right? We talked about last time, locus of control and what can I do? And and you mentioned privilege with with being more privileged. How can I impact, right? The these these uh, these moments and narratives, and how, what what can I do, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's a good reminder that, um, yeah, with privilege comes responsibility. And so, you know, I do have privilege on many levels. And um, so with it comes a responsibility to um, bring this part of myself forward in a transparent way and um, continue to shift the conversation, I think, um, in positive ways. Um, and yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, Gina. Mm -hmm. oh. I will continue. <laughs> and I know you will, Sandra. <laughs> no doubt you will.